but we're doing the very last example. The, um, the last problem we did on the video last night was x to the third. And since the cube root of x is the inverse of that, anyone remember anything about inverses? Have you learned about inverses before? You have very blank faces. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the same table as x to the third, but we're going to switch the x and the y values. So if you plug in negative 8 for x, then you're taking the cube root of negative 8. So you're saying what times itself three times would get you to a negative 8, and the answer to that is negative 2. So we're going to plug in negative 8 because it's easy to cube root. We're not going to plug in negative 7 because when you cube root that, you get a decimal. So we're going to skip that one. The next one we're going to cube root is negative 1. Again, we're going to cube root it because it's easy to cube root. So if you're asking yourself what times itself three times equals negative one, the answer is negative one. And then we're gonna do the cube root of zero, which is zero, okay? And then the cube root of one, which is one. Mm -hmm. And then the cube root of eight, which is two, okay? So when we do um, the charts for these graphs, we're gonna go ahead and use that table of values, okay? So, um, Let's go ahead, actually, let's go ahead and write down what the parent graph would look like. Are you guys starting to see how similar these all are? Because the transformations affect the graph the same. Yeah. So the A is still in front. That would be your stretch or your compression or your reflection if it's negative. The inside of the function would be the cube root, the stuff that the cube root is over. And then the outside of the function would still tell you like what goes up and down. So the inside is still telling you left and right just like normal. So what would the locator point be if this is how I'm writing it? It would be just H and K, right? Yeah, just like the other ones. You were right. For this specific graph, it was 0, 0. You're right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what transformations do you guys see for that example? Okay. So we've got vertical stretch. Of four, I heard right, right how many? Right six, okay, and then last up two, okay. And then what's the vertex? Not the vertex, locator point. Locator point is six, two. And that comes from right in here, we got six, two. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the chart so that we can find the other points. So I've got negative 8, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 8, 2. Look, guys, I have a, I have a remote, so look. Look, hold on, hold on. Zoom in, zoom in. Uh, Isn't that ridiculous? Who needs a who needs a remote for that? I do. Cause like leaning forward was like, oh, you gotta see my arm, you know? Okay. Um. So transformations. Let's do them. What do I have first? Yeah. Multiply what by four? The y. Okay. So I have negative eight, negative eight, negative one. Negative four, zero, zero, one, four, eight, eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right 6 would be add 6 to the x. Don't you guys love these awkward silences when we're all doing math together? Well, I'll put that on. All right, and then what do we do last? Add 2 to the y.
Oh, let me zoom out. Perfect. All right, so now we can graph those points. So negative 2, negative 6, positive 5, negative 2, positive 6, positive 2, positive 7, positive 6, and then the other one's off the graph. So just like a cubic graph, this is going to be like half of a U shape and half of a U shape. So this first part, this is half the U shape right here. And then here's the other half of the U shape. Okay. Look how cur perfect my curve is right there. That's like a legit, like that's a nice looking. Don't you guys agree? Yeah. We can bring me a trophy tomorrow. All right. Uh, what do we need to find? Okay. Is the graph continuous? Yep, you can trace it with your finger. Okay, so I'm going to say continuous. What else do we need to find? X and the Y intercepts. All right, so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in my calculator. Anyone remember how to get the third root on the screen? Yes. Yes, so math number four. See how number five has X right there? It means you can put any number you want in there, but to do it, you have to type number first. So if I wanted a fifth root, I would have had to type a five already. Okay, so there's my third root, X minus six. I should hear some typing because you're all doing it. Do you guys know why it has a little gap right here? It is continuous. Your calculator has a really hard time with any lines that look like they're going straight up and down for a second. So it's not that it's not continuous, it's that your calculator had a hard time. That's all it is. Yeah. Because your, um, your calculator only graphs functions and functions have to pass the vertical line test. And the, the little, you know, you guys know how the curves are made actually by little squares, right? Yeah. The little squares for them to do this part of the curve, they'd have to be right on top of each other. And your calculator's like, no, I can't do that. It's not a function. So it makes a little gap. It's not because it's not a function. Yeah. I mean, it's, they're pretty good. I wonder, do the, do the color calculators do it? Yeah. They do? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and look for the x-intercept. How do we do that? I do. You're just in graphic. Can I see your calculator? All I did, actually, is I just cleared it. That's it. And I think, yeah, it's good enough. All right, so we're going to do second trace. What? Which one? Two. And we're going to do left bound and right bound. All right, so there's definitely to the left of my point, so I'm going to press Enter. And I'll go to the right of my point and press Enter. And so my x except is 5.875. Okay, and then how do I find the y-intercept? So second trace, number one, plug in, zero. Negative 5.268. Okay, what else do we find? And behavior. So we're going to say as x goes to negative infinity, so as we look to the left, is the graph going down or up? Down. So as x goes left, y goes down. As x goes right, y goes 
up. So as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, y goes to positive infinity. Okay. What else do we find? Yeah. Domain and range. And what's fun about the domain and range for these graphs? Yeah, it's always the infinities for both. So negative infinity to positive infinity, it goes left and right forever with no gaps. Range negative infinity to positive infinity, it goes up and down, no gaps. What else do we find? Yeah. Increasing and decreasing. Okay. It's going to be no decreasing because if I put a little stick figure, he's going to walk and then he's going to be like climbing super steep and then he's going to be walking again. So for decreasing, we say none. And what do we put for increasing? Negative infinity to infinity. Okay. And then what else? Starts with an M. Max and min. And what do we see for both of those? None. All right. So when you watched the video last night, how did you feel about finding all these different things? Good? Did it feel repetitive? Like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this for the millionth time. Marvelous. That's exactly how it should have felt. Okay. Let me give you the paper that we're going to do today. And you're going to be like, wow, this really is like, I've done this before. And yes, you have. And, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to get real good at it. And then because I know these are your favorite. I did some some of those comparing ones at the end. Now, have you noticed that so far these have not ended up on a test yet? Have you guys noticed that? I've thrown them at you, but they haven't. At, we're going to start, I'm going to start putting some questions on like quiz and test, okay? It's going to start happening. So that means if you're still not understanding what these questions are asking, you got to start asking me for help on those more so, okay? Instead of just skipping them. You're like, she knows, she knows we skip them. Don't skip them, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Ooh, let me, let me pause.